And now if you hit play, right from the start, it says nothing because nothing is playing. But if we hit back, Hi, I'm Ricky. Today we see how to swap music in our game with a simple menu. You can download the project for free from GitHub, and you can also join my Discord channel if you need help with something. All right, let's start. I've already prepared a scene in Unity, but I hadn't put any code inside it. For the assets, I've imported TextMesh Pro, although you won't need to use it. You can also use the standard text assets, and I've also imported two copyright-free songs. While for the menu, we have a normal camera, a music manager, but there's nothing inside. It's just a game object. And for the canvas, I put two texts and two buttons, which do nothing at the moment. All right, so let's go in our music manager and let's create and add a new component called music manager. If you have made an audio manager in the past, you can build upon it. In this case though, we will build a very simple audio manager from scratch. Before we can change the music, we need a way to actually play and stop it. So I'm gonna write some comments here telling us what we will do later. So we first need a reference to all the music clips, then when the game starts, we're gonna create all the audio sources based on the music clips, and finally we'll have a public function that takes in a music parameter, that is the ID of our new music clip, and we'll then stop the current music that is playing, change the current music ID, and that's gonna be a string that we put here. This string will tell us what is the ID of the current music that is playing, so in here we also change that. And finally, we will play the new music. So let's start with the music clips. To do this, we need to make a new class. So let's go back to Unity, and let's make a new c -sharp script in our asset folder. We need this music class to be serializable. So let's remove the mono behavior inheritance, and let's add system.serializable. Now we need three parameters inside music. The first one is gonna be the music ID. That's how we separate different music clips. Then we need the actual audio clip. That's gonna be the file on our computer. Finally, we need a reference to an actual audio source, which is the way Unity plays sounds. We will need to fill in the music ID and the clip value through the inspector, but for the audio source, we're gonna do so through code, so we don't need to save this. Now let's go back to the music manager and let's make an array of music. Let's go back to Unity, and in our music manager, we will now see an array of musics, and uh, let's fill in two values. You see that we have the music ID, which is a string value, and the clip, but we don't have the actual audio source. I'm gonna bring in the two musics that I prepared, and give them a name. Now, if we want to play this duck song, we have to put in the duck ID, and the same goes for who likes to party, we have to put in the party ID. All right, next step is to create the audio sources. For each value inside our music array, we create a new audio source in our game object. And we set this audio source reference to the music source. This way, we are filling in this value right here. And the audio source itself, we're gonna add it to the music manager's game object. Now we just have to set in the values of the music source to reflect the values of our music class. In this case, the only value that we want to set is the clip itself. So we have taken the audio source reference and set its clip to be equal to the clip in our music class. Let's see if it works. Here we go, we have an audio source here with the audio clip being the same as this one. And we have a second audio source with the second audio clip. All right, next step, we have to stop the current music. We do this by cycling through each of our music elements and see which one's ID is equal to the current music ID. And by default, our current music ID will be empty, so we won't do anything. We check each element in music, we check whether its ID is equal to the current music ID that is playing, and if it is, it means we found the music clip that we want to stop, and so we stop it and then we break from the function because we don't need to do anything else in here. To change the current music ID, it's really simple. We just set it to the parameter of the function. Finally, to play a new music clip, we'll do the exact same process as here, when we want to stop it. 
but this time instead of stop we use play and that's it let's go back to unity i'm gonna select the two buttons that i prepared in the music panel i will add an event and drag in the music manager and as a function we select music manager change music now for the fluffa DAC button, I'm gonna put in the DAC ID. While for the party one, I'm gonna put in party. And now if you hit play, so I guess that works. Another cool thing we can add is changing the text to reflect whichever audio clip we are playing. Let's go back to the music manager. I'm going to use TextSense Pro for this, but you can of course use the standard text asset. So I've added a reference to the text of the current music plane. Now we just take it, and when we change the music, we just set the text to say currently playing plus the current music ID. Alright, let's drag in the reference. And I've also changed the button name to say duck. And now if we hit play, Right from the start, it says nothing because nothing is playing. But if we hit back, and that's it. All right, thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something new. This video was specifically requested by a user, so hello. I'm trying to keep this independent tutorial a bit more beginner friendly, while in the end of the series, I'm trying to be a bit more advanced, a bit more secure and cleaner with the code. Remember, you can download the project for free from GitHub, and you can also join my Discord channel to get some help with programming tips. You can also follow me on Twitter to know whichever video I'm uploading or whatever project I'm working on. Right now, I'm working on a new project called AA. It's a game for PC. You can find a teaser trailer and an analysis and gameplay video, all links in the description. And of course, make sure to like, subscribe, share the content, ring the notification bell and all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. See ya!